y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches for this week's But Do They Water Marble. I'll be testing the Zoya's Urban Grunge One Coat Cream. So this is just the One Coat Cream portion. I do have a live swatch and review of these available. I'll link that down below if you're interested. These were sent to me for review and they are available right now on Zoya.com. So I'll go ahead and show you how these performed. So as always, I'll first drop them in the order that I swatched them in into my tiny teacup full of room temperature bottle water. So this is two drops of vanilla. I'm going to drop it all the way down to Courtney's. So these spread out pretty well. I think Zoya creams are pretty much known for being able to stamp really well. And also they basically all water marble, I believe. I think the only color that I would maybe classify as being an aggressive spreader would be Tara. So that's not Tara. I'm sorry, Courtney which is the last one here. And it's more of a jelly formula, so that one really gets on it. So I'm gonna drop it all the way back down to Noah, to Courtney again. I had no problems getting a full two cycles. And honestly, I could have probably gone further if I wanted to. My outer ring of Noah did dry a little bit, but the inside ring stayed nice and malleable. They were really easy to drag a pattern into. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'm using the What's Up Nails water marble tool. So I'm just gonna drag a simple petal pattern. And I'm gonna wipe my tool off after every drag. It's a really cool palette. These performed really well. I really honestly can't say anything more about them. I think these are excellent polishes. It's a great all around collection. So next I'm going to drop them in the opposite order. So this is two drops of Courtney, then Tara. I'm going to bring it all the way to the edge. Then Wyatt, all the way back down to Noah. So I'm going to go in for another round. And you can see there that Courtney really wants to spread out. So if you get where it's getting a little bit slow, you can drop a drop of Courtney and it'll push some of the rings out a little bit so you can keep going. Here I'm going to do a just regular linear pattern. Again, really easy. And then I'm going to go in for a double just because they were still nice and wet. So now I have my nails prepped with one coat of Noah as well as Easy Peel from Nail Experiments. I'm going to clean out my water a little bit. I never hardly ever change my water in between marbles. I just kind of clean the surface because I'm really lazy like that. So I'm going to show you how I did my final pattern for my finished mani. Today I'm going to be using Tara, Noah, and Courtney. So that's Courtney there, then Tara and then Noah. I was able to do a pattern with a ton of rings, but it kind of made the finished result a little bit muddy, so you may want to do fewer if you want nice defined colors. So I'm going to go in with my water marble tool once more, and I think I'm going to do a pointed petal design here again. I really liked how it looked with the first design. So I'm going to drag it in. And four points and then make some more petals and then pull them outwards to make points. I think this is probably my favorite water marble design even though mine kind of always end up looking like a peacock where one side is smaller than the other. It doesn't really matter as long as you have just a nice area to dip one nail into. That's a win in my book. So there's a petal pattern. I'm going to dip my nail directly into it after I reposition it a little bit. So I'm just going to dip. I'm sorry, I blocked the camera a little bit here. I'm going to grab up the excess polish. And here is the final look. I'm going to remove the Easy Peel Latex Barrier. I like to make sure that the design is separated from the latex peel. I've had it before where I peel off my latex and it takes a chunk of the design. So I always go around and make sure that that seal is broken, especially if they've had a little bit of time to dry. Next, I did a little bit of cleanup and dotted where I had some water spots. I'm top coating here with the love on top. I love Angeline. This was my final water marble. I was not really feeling it, so I decided to stamp on top of it. I'm using Born Pretty Plate BPL024. It has lots of different floral designs. I thought that the leaves all the way on the left side would be a perfect stamp to use since this is a fall collection. Right here, so I'm going to apply Noah generously to the image, scrape downwards, and give an upwards roll. If you've seen my live swatch and review, I do do a stamping test for each of these. Noah did stamp really well, so I'm going to go ahead and position it with my Born Pretty Stamper over my water marble and then push it flush and kind of rock it a little bit to make sure that the image stuck. So this is the final result. I am going to top coat this once more with a glossy top coat. And then I added a matte top coat, which I really like too. 
I actually ended up really loving this mani. It looks very fall. It reminds me of Pocahontas for some reason. So here is my final look under artificial lighting. And here it is once more with matte top coat. So if you'd like to see more photos, those are available on my blog at sloppyswatches.wordpress.com or you can follow me on Instagram at sloppyswatches. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.